We're checking in with mayors across the country in our weekly Mayor Monday segment. Now, last week, you may remember, we spoke with the mayor of Minneapolis, Minnesota, and now we're headed to Lancaster, California. Now, this city is on a mission. Lancaster is taking the bull by the horns to combat its 17% unemployment rate, and it set its sights on China. City officials even taking classes in Mandarin. How's it working out? Let's ask Mayor R. Rex Paris. Good to see you, Mayor. Thanks for coming in. Ni hao. Ni hao, ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> uh, question. First of all, why is it that your unemployment rate is so much higher than the national average? I, you know, that's difficult to, to determine other than the fact that 70% of the population works in downtown Los Angeles and we're 70 miles away. And I, I think it has a lot to do with that. Uh, you know, we used to be the aerospace capital of the world, and so we still have a lot of engineering and th that type of uh, industry there, but, you know, nobody's building right now. Well, when the going gets tough, we know the tough get going. I'm assuming you're a tough mayor. What have you done to get going on attracting jobs? We've heard of some interesting uh, efforts that you're making. Maybe you can expound upon them. Well, I think the first thing to do is to recognize that, you know, the, the country is competing for the jobs that are here at such a level that it's not realistic to expect any local companies to come in and, and save us. So we looked globally, and, and the first uh, place that seemed to make the most sense is China. Uh, China is expanding at such a rapid rate, the, uh, and they recognize that if they're, if they're going to really produce for the United States in a meaningful way, they're going to have to do something about transportation costs, which really means they're going to have to produce in the United States. So looking down the road, that's what we're, we're attempting to attract. And you are focusing specifically on one manufacturer that's into the batter, battery industry, hopefully maybe taking advantage of some of the green money that's out there and stimulus money, no? Well, we're certainly looking at BYD and, and trying to court them with everything we have uh, because we know that they're interested in coming to the United States. And, we're, and they have numerous products that, you know, that are just sure winners once they start producing them. Uh, an example of one of the things we're doing in, in the next three weeks, we'll be announcing that we will have the most energy efficient homes in the world being produced in Lancaster, and that's by marrying a, a nationally recognized builder with BYD's technology and putting the two together. Uh, so we're, we're moving rapidly in that direction. Okay, this we're is, also taking a delegation. This, uh, I'm sorry to one. jump in. This is interesting to me because uh, BYD is, of course, the Chinese electric car company in which Warren Buffett has invested some $100 million. So are you saying that it's their technology that they are using to help make energy efficient homes in your town? Yes, that'll be, they, you know, they're not doing it today, but within the next three weeks, we'll announce the first project. And, you know, we're, we're trying to do whatever it takes to get them to uh, consider us as a manufacturing place for everything else they do. Uh, but, you know, we're competing with cities around the country, so we'll see. The, uh, it's a good fit because Lancaster really is going to be the energy, cap the alternative energy capital of the world just because of geographic accident. You know, it, it's got the best sun in the world, the best elevation, the best uh, uh, air quality, and we have th thousands of miles of uh, old alfalfa fields that, you know, have gone into just desert. So we don't have any environmental concerns by putting up alternative energy sites. In fact, we have the only, the only, uh, a uh, solar plant that actually makes a profit with e-solar. Now, you, you are also talking about bringing some Chinese uh, personnel over to the United States to shut up, set, set up shop in Lancaster. Isn't that a problem when you have a 17% unemployment rate, the idea being, hey, you're crowding out some American workers? No, I don't think so. It's the EB-5 program and how the EB-5 program works. If somebody from China is willing to invest a million dollars into job creation and can guarantee the creation of 10 jobs, then they can get a green card. And we're actively pursuing that. Uh, I think in two weeks we're going over there for specifically that purpose to attract more and more of that. The expectation is, is that we'll bring $200 million of investment into the region within the next 12 to 18 months just on the EB-5 program. But to do that, you know, you have to be Chinese friendly. That's why we're, we're getting the staff to learn Mandarin. We're, we're doing everything we can to, to send the message out that you're going to like it here and we're going to like you. Well, best of luck to you, Mayor. This is a terrific effort on your part. and We wish the very best for the town of Lancaster. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.